Holy crap, what a game. What a game. Get ready to fly. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zachary Nolan. Carter Nolan is behind the camera. And so is Kepler. Holy crap, guys. Holy crap. Holy crap. What a game. Okay, so today's been a weird, weird freaking day for us. I have to say. Started out this day, I was like, all right, we're at 630 subscribers. It's a nice little day, nice little normal day. Uh, a regular, like, Timothy goes to school type day. Just nothing out of the ordinary. And oh my God, this stream. We had a live stream today. And it kind of broke my mind a bit. And anyone else that was in this household. The live stream got over a thousand views. And this game was a barn burner. The Jets unfortunately lose 4-3 to three in a shootout against the Vancouver Canucks. But who cares? This is the barbecue Bruce Canucks. So honestly, let's take a point where we can get it. Holy crap though. So now, out of nowhere, we got 19 subscribers from that. First We're off. one away from our yearly goal. First off, holy crap. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, did not expect this. This was out of this world, honestly. We couldn't live, like we couldn't uh, timestamp the whole live stream because we didn't really organize it properly. We're gonna get, we're getting better with that system of trying to like stuff do that. But first time. keep in mind, we will be live streaming again. Like if this was the James Bond movie, like <laughs> it will that, say, yep. it will say the Nolan Hockey Podcast will return. We won't do it every game, but we will do it weekly. 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 Because we are not streamers, we are YouTubers. But we will stream occasionally because we like to do it. And honestly, if you guys were at that, let me know what your thoughts were on that. But let's get into this game. I don't have a lot of notes because I was talking to my chat the entire time. This is kind of the one thing, the one trade-off is the notes are not as good. It's kind of more based on actual like reflection. So first off, that being said, we are going to cut to the first goal of Niels Huglander putting the Canucks up one nothing. Reaction here. I am playing half a decibel, but you guys... Oh, oh of course it's going to be Hugh Lander. Oh, it's Hugh Lander. Of course it is. So Hugh Lander puts the Canucks up 1-0, and this goal was a little bit worrying sign for me. So let's get this clear. Uh, Comrie, the Comrie Castle, Cabana, whatever you want to call it, was in net, and he did okay. Uh, if you ask me how I felt about Eric Comrie net after the first period, it would not be a very good sign. However, he improved as the game wore on and was exceptional in securing this one point for the Winnipeg Jets. Hugh Leonard takes a nice little backhander to put him up one nothing, And it's, uh, it's a toughie, but you know what? You'd like the goalie to make a save on that in a clean shot, but such is life. Later in the period, though, the unthinkable would occur. Blake Wheeler has scored on the power play. His own goal, no tip, no nothing. Great screen by Pierre-Luc Dubois to tie the game. 1-1 one, one reaction here. Uh, every other time. Oh, yeah! Just like that, the Jets have life in this game. And the Jets, I would say, had a pretty good first period, honestly. Um, if you had asked me who played better the first, I, you know what? It's a toss-up period. It's a really good toss-up period. I would say maybe the Jets at times, but also the Canucks. Blake Wheeler seemingly about to get his second goal. Stopped by Demko, then back the other way. Good Lord, no! That except you. But I do, but that is nice. I mean, let's oh, go, let's go! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Wheels! Oh, oh, come on! Shoot! Fuck! Oh, 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 what a fucking roller coaster! Ah! Canucks go up 2 1. And it's Hugh Lander! Hugh Lander scores a bad goal, hits Comrie, and it falls back behind him just into the net to put the Vancouver Canucks up 2 to 1. If I'm rushing through this, honestly, it's because there's so much happening in this game, and you guys have watched a three hour live stream. You don't deserve to have to waste time with filler. We'll get to the highlights here, boys. Um, that being said, that will be the score going into the second period. Second period was the Jets period in my mind. Honestly, this was this was the period for us. The Jets 
quickly make it a 2-2 game from, I believe, Kyle Connor would get the Jets rolling to tie the game at 2-2 reaction here. Really, really I, weird I flex. I have no aspirations for a bang. Coach firing worked out, I guess. Well, yeah, they usually oh. do short term. Oh, 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 oh yes! yes! Let's go! Let's go, Casey! Fire! Fire! It's 2-2! KFC, baby! Switch the, uh... Um, yep! Woo! Woo! Then, as, as I'm being excited, a pass from absolutely goddamn pissing nowhere up to Connor Garland would rocket it and make a nice move on Eric Comrie to score to make it 3-2 Canucks reaction here. Oh, no! No! Oh, no! Oh! oh. Ah. oh. Damn it! Just like that, the Canucks... Now it is a 3-2 game, and this is where the Jets really start to put the pressure on them in the second period. However, they only come out with one goal, but we will take that one goal. 3-3. Mark frickin' Shifley would tie the game at 3-2-3. Reaction! Hit! Door scores! Mark Shifley! It's 3-3! Mark freaking Shifley makes it three freaking three, and it is a great goal. And honestly, the Jets were putting the pressure on this period. Would have liked to get another one to put them ahead, but honestly, two goals in a period, can't really argue with that. Um, you stay on pace, you should win the game. Then, however, unfortunately, we score. But it doesn't count, and I knew that. The other guys were optimistic. I knew we were in trouble. Action here. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, I missed it. Oh! Yes! Dubois running at the crease. I'm happy, but Let's I'm very nervous. Banana, banana, the signal oh. goal. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I need to see this three. again. Whatever. Carter's giving me a face like he doesn't think he thought he we was all okay. Knew. We all said it on the stream. You can go on the stream and check for yourself. To be fair, my face was the most skeptical of the three. You can check. Right. But anyway, uh, this is the right call. No goal is the right call. It is the right call. Um... Like, Dubois is just too hung up, like, tangled up with the Vancouver Canuck goaltender Thatcher Demko for this to count. It's just, they review this for quite a lengthy amount of time. The only argument that the Jets have is, does he have enough time to get there? Yeah, yeah, he does. So, with that being said, it stays 3-3. Three three. So now, we are going to the third period. This was the Canucks period. Holy crap. The Canucks dominated the Jets at times in this third period. Jets hung on by a thread. The, the penalty kill looked actually decent. And the power play was trying to get rolling again, but they could only muster that first goal in the period, in the first period. But, you know, it was back and forth, back and forth. And then, as time runs out, we go to overtime. So, at this rate, at this point in this live stream, the views are starting to rise. And I'm going, holy crap, we got something here. Then, seemingly, Kyle Connor ends it in overtime, but he doesn't. Oh. Over to Shifley in the corner. Shifley looking for options. Up the corner. No! 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 I thought that was in! Oh, he hit the ball! He hit the back post! Oh my god! He hit the back post! The whole building foundation shook in anticipation and what felt like release of excitement but it hits the back post and we are still tied at three in this overtime Carmen makes some great saves and we are going to a shootout ladies and gentlemen in vancouver there's a penalty there uh slew foot but... the slew foot right so this is where we get the mic word out and an unlikely situation but i have to give Ehlers a slew uh, the mic ward for the slew foot. Honestly, the Jets game as a whole, it was hard for me to really get mad at everybody because it was just a really good game to watch. So a slew foot in overtime with 20 seconds left where we can't score anything, I can't get any momentum here, kind of have to do it. It wouldn't result in the goal, but I'm still going to put it. Oh, nothing's considered. And and Comrie's performance over time saved him from a mic war because he really kept this game in it. Pedersen comes in, first shot of the shootout. Oh, man. Come on. Enon Comrie, on, Pedersen, come on, Comrie. stays up the middle, comes in, makes a move, one header oh, scores! Oh Elias Pedersen gives the Canucks an early 1-0 oh. lead in the shootout. That's a highlight right there.
That's a one-handed tuck. Filthy. Pedersen, a one-hand tuck to put the Canucks up. That would hold until the final shooter. Pierre-Luc Dubois would make, come and make moves. Saved by Demko. Reaction here. Subscribe. Thank you okay, so much. Pierre-Luc Dubois coming Dubois, in Dubois, across Dubois. the blue line. Looking at his options. Makes a move. Oh! by Thatcher Demko. And just like that, oh! the Jets will only come out with one point tonight. Demko oh. and the Canucks in a hard-fought game will win 4-3 to three in a shootout. Wow. What a game. What a game. And just like that, the Vancouver Canucks defeat the Jets 4-3 to three in a shootout. Takeaways here. Three stars. Uh, Eric Comrie gets the third star. Pierre, uh, third star. Kyle Connor gets second star. Blake Wheeler for his first goal of the year will get first star. I'm throwing him a bone here. This game was nuts. This game was just nuts. Honestly, there's so many analytical opinions here, but you know what? The Jets worked hard. The Jets need to make sure they're converting and being careful of when they're coming into the net front lanes. It was really top-heavy scoring opportunity tonight, but that was happens on some games. You know what? The first line looked like a first-line team tonight, so that was good. Um, but yeah, all in all, let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe, leave a like, comment down below your thoughts on this game. Once again, thank you so much to everyone who showed up. You made the stream extremely one-in-a-million feeling to us. We will see you next time with a Grey Cup preview and the Grey Cup game tomorrow. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.